Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Bravely Default, which is a 3DS game running through Citra on the Steam Deck. So I've got the Linux version of Citra running and I've got the game all configured. And I'm running this through the Steam OS side. And today I'm gonna to show you how to configure the controls, how to configure the graphics and how to get all of the Steam input working so that it's working best on the Steam Deck. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Steam Deck tutorials. So what we're gonna do is to go into the desktop mode. So we're gonna press the Steam button here and I'm going to switch to power and I'm going to switch to desktop. So after I've done this we're going to go to the discover software center and then we're going to go to applications, games, emulators, then we can scroll down and we're going to find Citra here. So all we need to do with this is press the install button here and then that's going to start that download and installation process. So once that's done I'm going to press the launch button and we're going to share anonymous user data. And now we need to add a folder to the game list. So in order to download 3DS or Citra games, you can just do a search for the name of the game and then the word ROM afterwards. And you can find lots of things on Google, which allows you to download those games, or you can make backups from your own 2DS or 3DS, which is quite simple to do with a jailbroken console. And anyway, once you've done this, you're going to put them in a folder and I'm going to double click here to add a new folder to the game list. So here I'm going to scroll down. Here we can find the primary drive. That's the SD card that's attached to your Steam Deck if you have one, or you can add your external solid state drive, which I'm using here, or you can download ROM straight into your documents folder and you can load them up from there. But I'm gonna load them up from my external solid state drive and I'm gonna find my 3DS folder. I'm gonna press open. Here I'm gonna select my 3DS drive and then I'll press open. So now that we've got our games list loaded up, I'm gonna do some configuration, gonna get emulation and press configure. And then with the graphics setting here, I'm gonna change this to triple so that it's close to the 720 display of the Steam Deck. You can also configure the layer of the screens. We can also change the controls too. So what I would advise you to do is basically remap all of your controls. I'm just gonna remap them directly to my Steam Deck controls here. So just click on a button and press a key. So just be aware that the ABXY is actually reversed on the default 3DS. And the circle pad I'm gonna to bind to my left analog stick. And the C stick, which some games support, I'm gonna bind it to my right analog stick. And then we've got our shoulder buttons here, left. Right, and then that's all I'm gonna configure for this Steam Deck. So if you want the configuration file to save, then you click on the left sidebar, press Steam X, and then press the enter key, and then that's gonna save that configuration. So now we can enter the game. So what we can do is do the side-by-side -side configuration. So with the window view, there's a few ways to arrange it. So what you can do is change the screen layout. And what I normally like to have is large screen, which makes this part very small and this part much larger. We can have side by side, which is kind of more equal in size, or you can do single screen, which is just the main screen here. So it just depends on the game that you're playing. So now I'm just gonna make a note of the hotkeys. Here I've got continue and pause emulation. So sometimes I like to keep that. So I like to be able to map that easily. And also what I like to do is to save the save state here, save to all the slot. So that's control C. What I'm gonna do is reconfigure this to tilde, press okay, so that I can rebind this more easily in Steam. So I'm gonna close this. And what I'm gonna do now is to set this game up so that it can launch in the gaming mode. So what I'd like to do now is to add Citra as a non-Steam game. So here we're gonna load up Steam and we're gonna to go to add a non-Steam game. And then we're gonna find Citra here and we're gonna tick this and click add selected programs. And so now if I scroll down, we're gonna find Citra is listed here. So I'm gonna go into gaming mode now. So now we're gonna to go to Steam and we're gonna go to library. And then we're gonna to go to the non-Steam tab and we're gonna find Citra's here. So now I'm gonna press the play button. So now we have our list of games. We're gonna go ahead and double click on Bravely Default to get this loaded up again. So here I'm gonna to go to load state. I'm gonna load my state from before and all the controls are working. Here I'm gonna press full screen to full screen this. And I'm just gonna configure some settings so that I can actually play this game more comfortably. So here on the right hand side, I'm gonna go to controller settings. I'm gonna edit my layout. I'm just gonna add the track pads so that we have some of the key bindings there. So here I like to add this as like pause emulation. That's F4. On the left, I'm gonna add to F11 instead, and that's gonna toggle full screens. And down, I'm gonna add tilde. What you also find is that when you're doing the configurations, if you're running this through gaming mode, the OK button's gonna appear correctly. So anyway, now that that's complete, you can see here, if I press the trackpad at the top, that's gonna pause emulation, bring it down to zero FPS or continue there. So here I've got my save states. If I press the down button here, it's gonna add a new save state to the fourth slot there. So it's just gonna continue overwriting if I press down here. So that's the save states taken care of. And the left-hand side, if I go to full screen here, and if I press the button on left here, it's gonna exit full screen. So this button is gonna to toggle F11, and that's gonna take me in and out of full screen, which is gonna make it a lot easier to configure the games. 
Another very handy tip is to set a mouse region for Citra. So what this means is that you can use your trackpad so that it only controls that particular section of the 3DS touch screen. So this is the touch part and that's the non-touch part. So I have my mouse cursor here, but whenever I use the trackpad, it's gonna automatically recenter back on there. So you can use this as a kind of way to quickly access menu items here. And I've configured it so that when you press the button here, it's also tapping on the screen too. So you don't necessarily have to use your thumb to click on the tiny interface elements. So for example, here I can press auto play, you can also turn it off and it automatically snaps back. So the way to set this up is to go to Steam and then go to the controller settings and then we can edit layout and then we go to trackpads. And basically what I've done is I've changed my right trackpad behavior to mouse region. So after that's been set, we're gonna configure here and we're gonna to go to on-screen display. Very unhelpfully, it does not give you any kind of overlay. It doesn't really show you where the item is, but this is roughly the settings I'm using for that tiny citrus screen. So I've got regional horizontal position 92, vertical position 21, region size 12. You can tweak this because this is a very rough and ready version of what it could be. And you need to tweak things like the horizontal and vertical scale so that it fits that kind of aspect ratio. So it's not a perfect square, it's kind of a rectangle. And once that's done, it means that if you have a game which uses the touchpad as a kind of aiming method, then this is gonna be much easier to do. The other thing you can do as well is to make sure that the click that you do is a left mouse click and you can configure this to a regular press, not just a soft press. It's gonna basically quickly allow you to press the buttons here and you can also drag and select. So anyway, this is how I got Bravely Default running on the Steam Deck using the Citra emulator and it's got a decent frame rate. It's also running under the Steam overlays, so that's all working correctly. So anyway, I hope you found the video useful. I've got lots of other Steam Deck tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe and I'll I'll see you in the next video.